Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with episode 3 of Quest for Perfection. Now you guys were loving the series, uh, last week you gave me a lot of support, and this week I'm going to give you another hit. Uh, we're going to be comparing sound cards, more particularly the PCI Express Asus Zonar DGX, and we're going to be pitting that against MSI's onboard Realtek 1150. Now I will firstly say that both solutions are amazing for listening to uh, music. If you want to check out my review where I talk about the Asus in terms of audio quality and mic in. I'll put the review in the description below. You can check it out there. But today we're going to be more concerned with frame latency and also FPS tests. And does it make a difference for the hardcore gamer? So I've done this week. It's a lot easier to test. We've, we can eliminate a lot of variables because we can do um, single player games this time. And I'm going to be using two games. Uh, Skyrim, which is a very CPU intensive game. Uh, it's also RAM intensive as well. I'm going to be using that game. Also, I'm going to be using Black Ops 2. So these two games I'm going to test. Um, V-Sync off, max frames. We're going to see if there's a difference. Let's move on to the results. Okay, so here's the results that I've compiled for you guys. And if we can see here, this is the first test that I've done. Skyrim at 1080p. Every graph here is a 25 second run, with the top three runs being the onboard Realtek uh, audio solution, and the bottom three results being the sound card from Zeus. Now, the results here just show that there was practically no difference between the two. Uh, the closer I look at these graphs, the more I can't see the differences at all, pretty much. They were pretty much identical. Uh, there will be a slight, ever so slight amount of variance, and that will be due to when I press the record key. You know, I could have pressed it 50 milliseconds slower in this run as opposed to this run. So, uh, yeah, it really, these results come down to variance. I mean, the Zeus Zonar DGX lost the worst frame lost against the real onboard real real tech by like 0.2 milliseconds so again nothing so i can't pick out a clear winner here in the fps results on skyrim um the the onboard real tech won the average fps by one it lost the minimum fps by three it won the maximum fps by two so i mean again that can be put down to variance there was no clear winner uh moving on to black ops 2 the sound card from Zeus and the onboard Realtek produced very similar results again. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, whoa, these graphs look crazy. What the, what the hell is going on here? So this was Black Ops 2 single player. Uh, again, 25 second runs, 1080p ultra uh, with MSA 2, uh, 2 speed. So I wanted to put more strain on the GPU, the core itself, as opposed to the VRAM. Uh, so I turned the MSA down a little bit. Now... You can see here this time around, maybe the Asus Zonar DGX won the worst frame by 0.2 milliseconds. So the reason why these graphs look so crazy in Black Ops 2 is because you've got to look at the maximum and the minimum here. Since it's only 6 milliseconds, the results are sort of... Sp you're looking really close at the results. Like if I was to double the maximum and the minimum it would look more uh, smooth. The line would start to look more smooth. So don't worry about that. It's just a visual thing. But either way, 5 milliseconds on top and bottom is just an absolute smooth experience. It's just butter. So these results here are just smooth on both um, the sound card from Asus and the onboard Realtek. Uh, moving on to the FPS results, it was a win for the Asus Zonar DGX by 0.4 FPS and a win on the minimum by 3 FPS, and a win uh, on the maximum for the onboard Realtek by 2 FPS. So, again, I, I can't, you know, again, this comes down to variance. So, let's move on now to the conclusion, which I will also talk about the onboard audio output of the Realtek versus the Azus Sonar. So, let's get on to the conclusion now. So, in conclusion, you guys probably... Uh, took from the results anyway that it does not make a difference if you're using the PCI Express sound card or using the onboard audio solution both recorded very similar for FPS times and frame latency times as well which is the big thing so I couldn't pick out a difference uh, so yeah if you're looking for more FPS or frame latencies you're not going to get it from a sound card so um, that being said let's move on to the uh, audio experience for gaming because you know you're probably wondering okay all right, so who cares about the FPS? Let's look at the sound card. It's designed to give you sound, and that's true. Uh, when, I, when I booted up the Asus Zonar DGX, I noticed straight away that the mid-range frequencies were boosted compared to the Realtek 1150. So this meant that in games, uh, voices and footsteps could be heard easier than the Realtek 1150. 
So I will give, for gaming, I will give the win to the Asus Zonar DGX. Uh, that being said, when I d was doing my music tests, I tested three genres, uh, 80s rock in excess. I tested uh, rap from Exhibit, and I tested Dead Mouse. These were all, all uh, FLAC audio files, and I could not hear, um, you know, the bass as well as I could hear it on the Realtek. So the Zeus uh, Zona DGX, it sounded like the bass was a bit muffled. Uh, the Realtek 1150 really did a good job of producing clear definitive bass and clear definitive highs. And I mean, I'm not an audiophile guy, so, you know, don't tell, you know, take, take audio advice from me with a grain of salt. But this is what I thought... Uh, I thought the Realtek 1150 sounded better for listening to music, and I thought the Asus Sonar DGX sounded better for gaming. And you're probably thinking, what the hell? Like, why is that? You know, a lot of people say sound cards are just so good compared to onboard audio solutions. And this is, may, I think this is true because of the fact that a lot of onboard audio solutions have crap amps on them. This generation, and this is why I'm loving MSI so much, this generation, they've put a good amp on the onboard audio solution. So this means that the signals, I thought the signals were actually stronger as well on the MSI compared to the Zeus Zona DGX. Uh, so when the signal's stronger, people are automatically going to get the headphone, they're going to get their sound card, they're going to install it, and they're going to put the headphones on and go, oh, wow, well, this is so much better, oh, wow. Well. And it's just because the, you know, they're getting a stronger signal to their headphones. The, everything's louder of course it's going to sound better uh, but when in actual fact it's not you know it's not that the DAX or the ADCs are better it's just that the, the amp's better so that's the main that answers that question I mean of course when you start going into like $200 sound cards um, that's when you start getting differences but at the same time you're going to need a good pair of headphones to be able to tell the difference as well so everything works in moderation you need you know the weakest link always needs to be the same as the strongest link, if that makes any sense. Uh, but anyway, that's all I can take out of it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Quest for Perfection. If you want to check out the review of the Zeus, uh, Zeus Zona DGX, I'll put it in the description below when it's ready. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Your City. Now, I have run out of ideas for Quest for Perfection, so give me some ideas. What do you want to see tested? I'm going to take some feedback from you guys. I want to do tests. We want to get the perfect gaming experience. That's what we're all here for. Give me some ideas and I'll test them for you guys. Anyway, peace out for now. Ready, bye.